Saturday Night Essentials. The Party Vibes. You're listening to Silky D. That's right. So like that show right here, 97.5 Kim FM. And a part of, you know, as we've been doing every single month, uh, we've been highlighting not only DJs uh, that are doing and putting in their hard work. This week, we have got Logan in the building. How's it going, man? How's it going? How's it going? Logan. What's, what's good, man? What's good? Uh, I'm all right, man. How's it going? No, do you know what? It's, it's good, and it's, it's blessed to have you on the show. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's good so, to be on the show. for a lot of people that don't know much about yourself, yeah. how, how would you sort of you know, put yourself out there? Um... Well, I'm just, I'm a normal guy. <laughs> I can't really care. It's up for me to explain, like, myself, well, but... Okay, let me let me put it. So, uh, yeah. you're, you're a singer? Yes, I am. A songwriter? Yeah. Producer? Uh-huh. Anything else? <laughs> Engineer. <laughs> so, how, how did uh, all that come about? Did it something that you sort of grew into, or did you end up loving sort of the, the music side of things? Um, I just started off as a singer and producer. Um, everything else came along afterwards. So okay. it's, you know, it's one of those things where, you know, other people don't really believe in what you're doing, so you have to start doing it yourself. So after a while, I ended up doing pretty much everything myself, which is too much to take on, but I still had to do it, kind of thing. Yeah. So. so what's made you um, sort of take on so many roles within, within the music industry? It was literally that, frustration from people not trying to help, if you know what I mean. So okay. I had to learn everything myself, which took a long time, but it's worth it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And, and do you reckon uh, still where you are, so we're probably jumping quite a bit, but mm. from where you are now, do you reckon it's, it's helped you out works? Yeah, okay. definitely. So um, is there any background um, that sort of got you into sort of your sync? Because obviously you said you started off with production and, and engineering. So. Yeah, do you know what? The funny thing is I started spitting bars. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It's bad, right? You know, every single like, a singer, because yeah. I want to say, because I want to get singers on my show. Yeah. Every singer I spoke to, they're like, do you know what? I was spitting bars. And I was like, you know what? <laughs> I've got a little bit of a vocal cord. Yeah, yeah. Like, vocal cord, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah man. Uh, yeah, so it was that. Like, I, I used to spit bars. I started off spitting bars. But then I met, I met like, uh, some friends along the way. They were like, hey, maybe you should keep spitting bars and just start singing instead because <laughs> I thought you are better at it. So I started doing that. <laughs> so uh, while growing up, mm. um, what's influenced you? Which, which, kind, which kind of artists have uh, in- influenced you? Uh, it was mostly, do you know what? Um, it's mostly hip-hop and R&B as well, but mostly hip-hop. So I used to listen to a lot of Tupac. I used to listen to a lot of um, D-Block, you know, things like that. Yeah. So uh, Biggie, um, and then obviously like Joe DC, Joe, you know, the old school R&B kind of peoples, and then Chris Brown as well when he started getting to the new age kind of thing. So. Yeah. Yeah, man. So all types of artists. Okay, so, um, you know, moving forward, um, you know, how, how are you feeling? So like, I like to ask this. Being uh, an artist from Nottingham, from from up north, as it's normally classed, how are yeah. you finding, uh, you know, getting your music out there from being somewhere in the Midlands instead of down in London? Do you know what? I've, it's had a good reaction. Like with the first thing that I've had now, it's had a good reaction. But it's uh, one of those things where I'm just starting out, so there's a lot more to look forward to. I, I hope. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. as for now, I can't really say yet. If you know what I mean, but. It's, it's been going pretty well, so... So, because, yeah. right, your, your new videos now is on SBTV. It's on SBTV, yeah, right now. Yeah. Uh, featuring Manifesto and Ruby Rain. Uh, it's out on SBTV now, yeah. So, how, how did you get involved in uh, those artists? Uh, so, uh, I've known Manifesto and Ruby yeah. since uni days, so, which is like a few years back now. I'm not even okay. going to say what year, but yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just, just, right just yeah, yeah, some <laughs> time ago, yeah, man. So, uh, through that, we just always used to make music. Yeah. And uh, funny thing is, when we started, when we started doing right now, it was one of those things where we just literally woke up in the morning. The beat was actually meant for Jordan. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, if you, don't, if you don't know, we've got Jordan in the background. Okay. <laughs> and uh, for you guys that are listening at home as well, we are uh, videoing the interview as well, so you get to see everything that goes on the studio. Yeah, man. So uh, the beat was actually meant for Jordan, but Jordan was like, "Nah, I'm not." Playing this. <laughs> Then we did the song, he was like, ah, actually, have you got a verse for me, right? Like but, you know, uh, it was one of those things, so uh, we just started making the song, it yeah. blossomed to what it is now. So, uh, being, you know, a producer as well, mm. um, is there any other sort of artists that you've sort of sent your beats out to, um, you know, obviously apart from Jordan, mm. who says no to some of them? <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, yeah, I know. Uh, I, I regretted it, I regretted it. Reg- <laughs> it's just, the song is doing so well right now, I mean, it's, 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 uh, <laughs> The people behind it, yeah, so man, it's crazy. Definitely, like, definitely, definitely, I wish definitely. I did it now. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't in the mood that day. <laughs> so, is, there, yeah, is there any artists out there that you could sort of pinpoint? And go, you know, that that's putting my production in. Right or- now, right now, um, it's just 
uh, working within the close circle of people right now. So the team is the people I've actually been working with right yeah. now. So we've got PG in the building as well. He's got his uh, tune Coyote on uh, Graham Daily as well. Um, so we've got like literally a small circle of friends that we actually just work with yeah initially so anyone like, it's not anyone that most people know anyway but they're talented people though you you're going to hear a lot of fire very soon as well so yeah. uh, do you know what, that's that's good to hear cuz um you get a lot of artists that uh you know they, they do things themselves do you reckon having a, a team behind you is a, a sort of pretty important thing for you oh most definitely you can't do everything yourself man like the uh, the realest thing i can say is literally if i was to do this on my own i can't even though i can do all this stuff yeah on my own i won't be able to like literally finesse it and make it make it make make the final product on my own yeah. because in terms of literally we'll do everything together when it comes to beat making even if we start making a beat yeah. someone else will come in put their two cents into it write in we write all together as well so it's always a lot of influences in one song so um you know for you um you know coming up is there anything that we can expect you know after sort of the single uh, you know the video being released mm -hmm. and having its plays is there anything more that we can expect from yourself just literally expect more music more like it's, it's gonna everything is gonna sound literally different from the last so yeah. expect good music literally from every angle so yeah man okay so uh we've got your brand new single if you can explain more sort of where it came from you know who wrote it and everything else yes uh so the single right now which is our sp tv yes. uh it is uh literally do you know what the song is uh, very random because we didn't start it with any idea okay so me ruby and manifesto just sat there uh wrote the first parts this song is about two years old if you didn't know do you know what it's weird because there's a lot of artists out there that um you speak to and it's like this is probably my first song that i've ever done and just never did nothing with it yeah so no we've got loads of songs but we haven't done anything with them because it, 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 you know as an artist you just think oh i'm not satisfied with this yeah so it was the same with right now two years old uh it started randomly uh on a hangover morning and then um <laughs> yeah the three of us started writing some of it we didn't finish it and then obviously jordan here me and jordan wrote my verse as well so and then i kind of finished the beat afterwards and i mixed it and got it mastered so it it wasn't an influence behind it, it was just Yep. It is what it is. We just did it, and yeah. the, the production behind the video because it is. Oh, that's J. Different. Yes, that's JP Clear Vision. Shout out to JP. You know, he's 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 one of the maddest videographers I've ever met. No, just does. to say, I was watching it. Yes, and it's, it, it's got so many different avenues in that video. Exactly. Uh, was yeah. it fun to make? It was very fun to make. You yeah. can see in the video, I'm smiling a lot the time, <laughs> and I'm jumping around. Like, you know, um, yeah. Uh, with JP, we, do you know what? Even the video itself, we just took it and ran. We we tried to have fun with everything about do. So you know, um, we didn't have specific locations that we wanted to make. I mean, it was a two day shoot. Yeah. But then we started off in knots and just went anywhere and everywhere. Started off in, if you see some of the shots in Bonk, where red, there's yeah. red light and it was in Bonk up in um, Hockley. Uh, the other one was uh, into Victoria Car Park, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't the the most, you know, um, greatest places to shoot, but we made it look good. Yeah, because you know, the videographers uh, they can do exact, wonderful things with, with things. Which is what JP yeah. did, yeah, definitely, definitely. People know JP anyway, JP Clear Vision from uh, JP Tube and stuff like that. So yeah, he's a great guy, man. So before we uh, we play your pre uh, brand new uh, track, where can uh, people find you? Uh, you can find it on Spotify, literally all media platforms, even to, up to Tidal, iTunes, you know, everything, everywhere, everywhere. You can get and, it and Logan spelled a little bit different. Yes, Logan is it's it's pronounced Logan, but it's L O G X N. Yeah. Right, you see, it's correcting me right there. <laughs> <laughs> and all my Twitter, all my Twitter handles are all the same as all. So it's I am Logan on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook as well. Yeah, so, so that's L O G X N X N. Right, there we go. So, you know what? Yet again, bless for joining Thanks, us Thank right here. Thank you for the love. And um, if I can give you the honours to introduce your brand new single. Okay, this is Right Now featuring <laughs> Manifesto and Ruby Rain. Have a listen, guys. <laughs> Stay longer than 
when the sun does shine, have you lost in time? Oh yeah. Let me say I've been on my grind, nearly lost my mind. Oh yeah. So let me know for sure. If you open your mind and take the dive, and take the dive. 